Previously on Next Level Chef. Today's challenge is an old favorite, surf and turf. Only one dish will be moving to the top floor. Tucker. Let's go, let's go. Which dish will you be eliminating tonight? The Cornish game hen. Maureen. Being the last home cook standing, I'm just really proud of myself. Tonight. Go time. You've all reached the semi-finals. For today's challenge, you'll all have 40 minutes to create a next level all-American dish. USA! Cook your way into the finals now! Yes, chef! There's $250,000 on the line. Welcome back. How are you feeling? Great, Great chef. chef. You've all reached the semi-finals. Weba! We have finally made it to the semi-finals, folks. It is the one last giant step until the finale. And I got my eyes on getting into that finale, believe me. We started this competition with 18 talented social media chefs, home cooks, and professional chefs. And now, you five are one step away from the grand finale. Tucker, do you believe that you've got what it takes to get yourself into the finale? I absolutely believe that, Chef. I've had my eye on the prize since day one, and I've never taken my eye off that prize. Omi, are you ready to go all the way? I'm ready to go all the way, Chef. What drives you? My boys, my family. They are the reason why I'm here. Chris. Yes, Chef. You're a pro chef, man. You've managed to peak at just the right time here. You gonna shine today? I'm gonna shine real bright today, Chef. All right. It's gonna be blinding. I love it. I think I speak for all three of us when I say I'd truly be happy to mentor any one of you. However, only one of you is going to win that one-year mentorship and a quarter of a million dollars Who's ready? Me, I'm chef. Ready. Ready. Now listen up. For today's challenge, you'll all have 40 minutes to create a stunning fusion dish. Now, typically, fusion cooking is about combining ingredients from different parts of the world and bringing them together into one amazing dish. Everything I do at home is a fusion style. I'm a Puerto Rican married to a black man with mixed babies in Rhode Island, <laughs> everything I do is fusion. But today, we are staying on home soil, the good old USA. Your job is to grab ingredients from two different states and combine them to create an amazing, next level, all-American dish. Just imagine a Louisiana twist on New England clam chowder or a Hawaiian-style Philly cheesesteak. We want you to take regional ingredients from two different states and seamlessly fuse them into one unique and delicious dish. USA, a USA, a From Maryland, baby. I want to see Maryland and maybe some Louisiana. You know, I could fuse these two states together beautifully. This is your chance to create a new American classic. Okay, listen up, because there's one last important thing you all need to know. At the end of today's challenge, two of you will secure your spot in the grand finale. The rest of you will be battling it out in the last elimination cook-off for that third and final spot. Okay, Tucker, you had the best dish in the last challenge, earning you the top kitchen to yourself. Head the elevator, good luck. I'll see you shortly. Thanks, Let's chef. go. Come on, Tucker. You got this, girl. It's not weird to be up here on my own, you know? I'm earned my way up in this kitchen by myself, so um, the road to the top is a solo ride. Okay, Chris and Nuri, you're headed to the middle kitchen today. 
The fight for your spot in the finale starts now. Head to the elevator. I'll see you soon. Let's Good go. Luck. Let's go. Don't overthink it. You got this. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Coming from elimination cook-off and having to start in the basement, I've got everything to prove. I am a little concerned about ending up with two states that I know nothing about. I've got last picks, but I'm only one cook away from making it to the finals. I have to give it my all. Let's go! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> you both are so talented. You know that, right? Think about that next step always. Mindset strong. Go, go, go. OK. All right, gentlemen, ready to do this? Yes, yeah. sir. We're ready to earn your way into the finale. Yes, yep. chef. You ready? Super ready, chef. Come on. Yeah? You got me. OK? Just grab smart. OK, don't try to be too ambitious. I'm hoping I can maybe fuse California, Hawaii, but I'm not set on anything because my philosophy is the platform tells you what to do. Line up, come on. Okay, platform's moving. When it goes green, you go, go. Yeah, chef. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, and go. Have a good look. Well, I'm not getting run down by Chef Stretch today, so I get to the platform first because I'm alone. So Colorado, Washington, Hawaii. Rip Rip I chef. Take. You sure? Think about the fusion of this one. California. You sure? Well done. Texas and California. The platform is on the move. Go time. Let's go. OK. First thing I see on this platform is salmon. And literally without looking, I grab from the bottom another basket. And that's it. Washington State and Florida, the state that I now call home. Top one with the protein. You can put it right behind you if you want. You got it? OK. I see Colorado. I see the beautiful lamb rack. Grab it. Then I look and see the herbs in Wisconsin. I'm like, perfect. Wisconsin, let's do it. Woo! Good thing you're strong, Nuri. Yes, chef. Go! I see Louisiana. That's dear to my heart. My family's from Louisiana. I can't even believe that made it down here. Like, when you think of food in the United States, Louisiana is pretty at the, I think that's top five. <laughs> OK, hey, baby. Let's go. go. 40 minutes starts now. Let's go. Full throttle. What'd you grab, Omi? I've got Massachusetts. OK. And New Mexico. Oh, we love that. We love that. We love that. Between the Native American roots of New Mexico and the charm that Massachusetts has. Wow. I'm good to go here. I got codfish, I've got masa, I've got some really amazing ingredients to make a bomb meal today. What'd we get, Pilar? I got Hawaii and Louisiana. Oh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Lean into it. Let's go. All right, Nuri, what states did you grab? I grabbed Colorado and Wisconsin, chef. Do you know the dish you're making just yet? I know I'm gonna do a beautiful lamb rack with a herb crust, uh, roasted fingerling potatoes. So you watched cooking shows as a kid instead of cartoons? Yes, I did, Chef. I didn't even watch cartoons. Uh, I watched Food Network, Cutthroat Kitchen. Uh, oh, my minute, gosh. 30 Minute Meals of Rachel Ray, and Gordon freaking Ramsay. Who knew you'd be cooking yeah. under pressure like this? Literally. <laughs> so tell me about the composition of this. Where are we going with this one? Uh, we're going to uh, Texas with the steak. Gotcha. Doing a little grilling like how they do in Texas, I hear. Never yep. been, but I just assume. But then yes. we stopped in California for all of our beautiful produce over here. Now, how are you going to bring that California fusion into it? Where are you going? I'm going to do some grilled peach, show off the nice grill marks. My tattoo over here says I'm not serving a menu. I'm serving a story. I'm serving my soul. And, and I fully believe that. That's part of my like food philosophy is you put your soul on that plate every time. I'm just hoping that that was enough to get it in that finale. All right, Chris, what two states? I got Florida and Washington here. Washington has given me a beautiful salmon. OK. I got kumquats from Florida and lime leaves. OK, so the Pacific Northwest and Florida. Yeah. All right. Let's not set the flag on sure, fire there. Sure, respect, okay. respect to right. the state of Florida. Sunshine, Sunshine state. state, baby. There it is. What's your plan for your dish? I'm going to make a beautiful Cajun Louisiana braised collard greens wow. and some nori crusted mahi-mahi Hawaiian fusion today, chef. How are we preparing the mahi-mahi, chef? I could steam it in this banana leaf. Love that. This is the semifinals. So it's just a ton of bricks <laughs> of pressure. 
weighing on my shoulders right now. This yes, is the dish that's going to bring you into the finale, right? What's the plan? I want to incorporate this masa. Amazing. How so? If I make a beautiful tortilla cod taco. This is a fairly big portion of fish, right? So you don't need to necessarily serve the whole thing. Trying not to plate like a Puerto Rican today. <laughs> it's our thing. The more food we put on the plate, the more love we are giving you. 25 minutes left. 25, 25 minutes. minutes. Heard 25. Yeah. I pretty much picked the two states that are the most opposite they could be. One's more of like a temperate environment, another one is way more tropical. This really puts me to the test. Where was I? There we are. Salmon's the star. Salmon's gonna be our star. Our mushrooms are gonna be the side. The mushrooms, dill, salmon, pickled onions. Just remember, like, you're usually doing like one thing too much. Somehow you've taken Washington State and Florida, and we're, we're in Scandinavia a little bit too. I'm showing you guys that I'm worth my salt in these kitchens. Uh, I love that. And just make sure you're fusing yourself into this. And you've cooked in so many places. You have so many dishes in the back of your head. You've cooked for so many other chefs. Now's the time to start doing your food, or that chef. You're the last Team Blaze member standing here. Been working very hard for this moment. I won't let you down, and I won't let me down. Man, I want Chris to get to the finale, or else there's going to be no Team Blaze members in the last round. He's got Washington State and Florida. They're so far apart. And sometimes Chris's ideas are so far apart. Can he bring it together to get to the finale? Nope. Nope. No, no, no. Don't get caught up with the tortilla. You don't want to waste all your time only doing one thing. That's right. Do you, but you feel me, right? I'm starting to make my dough, and I'm struggling because I don't have the manteca. I don't have any lard to add to my masa to get the consistency that I would get for a tortilla. What is it doing? I'm going to use some oil and hope to God that it works. There we go. Come on, baby. This is it, like this is the moment. If, if there's any time in this competition where you need to get your act together, Omi, it's right now. I cannot go home on some tacos. love that Omi has grabbed Massachusetts and New Mexico. These are her quintessential flavors. She's over there making her own tortillas. She's bringing some beautiful fusion flavors. If she can pull it off, this is her spot. The semifinals, can you believe it? I can't believe we're here. Nothing would make me happier than to get both of you into the finals. Yes, chef. Let's yes, make this chef. happen. I want this so bad. Like, I'll probably drop to the floor and cry if I do end up in the damn finale, like, I, I deserve it. What are we gonna be doing a year from now? Pop-up shop chef all, right, all around all the right, country. Listen, dream big, restaurant. There we go. Stay focused, eye on the prize, okay? Think about that title of Next Level Chef, right? What do you have in here? Red bean rice. I put the blood sausage mm, in there. Amazing flavor. <laughs> Gotta bring it, chef. I mean, all day, every day, girl. Richard and Gordon don't have a chance against me. I got Nuri, Pilar, Omi, they're all really strong chefs and I want a Team Arrington finale. Breathe. Yes, Chef. You're creating the most beautiful orchestration right now. It's all you need to do. You're playing for a spot in the finals of Next Level Chef right now. Let's go, guys. Okay? Let's get working on this lamb rack. Are you gonna leave the lamb rack whole or are you gonna, are you gonna cut it I'm into gonna two bone chops? I'm gonna leave it and then cut it into chops as I Okay, play, I like chef. it. So then we, we definitely wanna get that cooking, right? Yes, Chef. Okay. My concern, I'm not freaking you out, is just the vegetable component of this the vegetable dish. component. And it's, if it's tomatoes, potatoes, and corn, that's fine, but let's just make it tight. It's almost a succotash. And just make sure you have enough flavor that's gonna cut through the gaminess and the fat of the lamb. Yes, Chef. Love it, love it. Good, beautiful. Beautiful. Semi-final cook for a spot in the finale. Great grab by Tucker. She went down the Texas route for the protein. That's in her wheelhouse. Then that fusion of that Californian lightness. So all those ingredients from her home state, if she pulls this off, it's a winning dish. And trust me, she needs to bring this home. Right, let's have some mid-round mayhem. This dish sounds amazing, but I need it looking stunning. So let's elevate our plating with stunning plateware. Got the ribeye, so it's quite robust. Okay. I got Chef Ramsey all to myself. I'm in the top kitchen from a comeback. Basement, middle, top, alone with Chef Ramsey. That dish has to take me to the finals. Make it look perfect. You good? Ah, uh, well done. That's a beautiful plate. 
So that platform's about to drop. What's gonna take your dish to the next level visually? You can grab anything that's on here. Spoons, oh, baby. tweezers. Five, four, three, two, one. You got it? Okay. Yes. All right. Okay, Nuri, what did you grab in that drop there? Uh, the beautiful round? white plate, okay. Chef, because I got nice got colors. It. Okay, Chris, what did you grab? I grabbed just a plate and a square rain mold. Got to impress with the presentation today. Okay, guys, it's time for the mid-round mayhem. It's mid-round drop, and the smoking gun and don't make it down to the basement. What are these guys doing up there? You want a smoky element? Is that what you're going yes, for, chef. smoke gun? And I'm Hawaii, which is known for smoky flavors. Smoky mahi mahi, chef. So, look at these plates. Oh, they're so beautiful. I see this beautiful glass plate with a bulb of flowers at the bottom, all these different colors. It says Omi, it calls my name. I pick it up and we are now one. Wow, nobody mahi, took mahi, that smoking gun, huh? Seafood. I gotta go bold or go home. Fear is an enemy right now. I've been fighting all the way through this competition. I want to end this journey with going straight into the finals today. Don't cook scared. Okay. Tell me back to those cooking classes online. How did this start? I just found myself without any kind of restaurant job uh, when the pandemic hit because all the uh, Michelin restaurants closed. Yes. So I went into teaching online and then I just loved it because food is love is something I truly believe. Yeah. My family instilled that in me. What about sauce over here for you? Mushrooms, the onions, a little bit of garlic in there, a touch of cream. Good thing about the salmon is you don't need too much, right? Like, you know the no, salmon? No, I can cut that. I can cut that down. All right? As both of you have these fatty proteins, do I have something that's going to cut through some of that fat? I want the salmon to be spot on juicy when it goes out to the judges. Remember when we started this thing? Yes, sir. There were five, yes, six people up on each floor. Now it's just the two of you. Absolute warriors throwing down to get to the finale here. My mushrooms are A-OK. -okay. I know that my flavors are there. I used to work at a fish station at a restaurant. The salmon was on our menu, so if I don't get this right, I might as well just pack it up and go home. I am gunning for that finale spot. Okay. All right. Okay, what are we doing now? This is the beef pistachio pesto. Okay, that's all right. It's not a new idea. You're like Chris. No, I, I, Chris. I just want to make sure that it's not another <laughs> another new idea. Okay. Don't worry, chef. Okay, got it. The salmon's under control somewhere, right? The salmon is under control. Only ten minutes left. Ten heard. Feeling good? Yeah. Okay. Plan now we're planning. That 250K and the year-long mentorship is on the line. So I am not facing any roadblocks whatsoever. Like I'm laser focused and I'm going after it. Oh, come on. Close oh, Zamia. I look down, the oven doors open. Come on, you're better than that, dude. I have to make sure that my salmon is cooked because it's gotta be perfect. Think about the people that you're cooking for back home. Think about the people that told you you couldn't do this. Who told you you couldn't do this? Nori, not me. A lot of people, though, but not you, chef. This guy's going to eat those words real quick. Really, this competition has been about me versus me. It's me overcoming the self-doubt. I'm just thinking about what those naysayers are going to say when I get into the finals. So today, I'm cooking for all the people out there that told me no, because no one's going to believe this. There you go. Ice water, shock, and then blend. Good. I listen to everything Chef Ramsay says. He's my mentor, he chose me for a reason, he believes in me, and I'm just gonna make him proud today. Five minutes left, okay? Push oh. hard, hurry up. Most important next five minutes of your entire life right now, okay? Just crush it with the back of the, there you go. Yes, Pilar, yes, Pilar. Come on, Omi, winning dishes. Come on, baby. Talk to me. Are we doing one taco? Are we doing three tacos? We're doing three tacos. Okay, beautiful, sexy fish. Yes. And then, my crema is going to be on the bottom. Make it nice. Yes, chef. One plate of intention and fusion. Come on. Hurry up, Omi. Minute and a half, let's go, start plating. Every single time I'm plating, those 90 seconds are the worst. My hands just can't control themselves with what it is that I'm trying to put on a plate. 
All on you now, okay? All on you. Yes, yeah, sir. I can't do it for you. The spot in the final. Taste, taste, taste. Bring it home, Tucker. Bring it home. Come on, you've got this. Here we go. The best plating you've ever done, okay? The best plating. Perfect. Okay? Keep it tight and beautiful. Cook your way into the finals now. Yes, chef. So you don't have to go into the elimination cook-off. You don't want that pressure. Come on. Platform's coming. I have to get my plate on the platform today. This is my last opportunity to get into the finals. Do not wait. This is goal time. I got to go. There you go. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Make it tight. <laughs> that ballet, though. You got all the elements that you put out on the plate. The platform is here. Chris, hurt. coming over. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, baby. Bring it home. Bring it home. Platform's there. Platform's there. Come on, gently. One at a time. One at a time. Breathe. We have the finals on the line here. Everything is going to be down to razor thin details. Wow, take a look at these. We asked you for next level dishes today. And man, have you delivered. Well done. We know what's at stake. Because two of you will secure your spots directly into the finale. That means, three of you, you're headed to the last elimination cook-off. You've got one chance to get yourself into the finale. Right, uh, Naisha, shall we start with you first? Yes, please. First up, we have a trip to Hawaii by way of Louisiana. There is red beans and rice and a banana leaf steamed mahi-mahi. This chef actually used the blood sausage from Louisiana in the red beans and rice as well. Tough combination. There's just so much riding on one plate. I just want it so bad. I want it really bad. That makes a very bold move. So many components to this dish, it's really technical. Mahi mahi, so unforgiving because there's no fat. That is such a tough fish. Mahi Mahi, such a tough fish. So unforgiving because there's no fat. That is just moist, flavorsome, next level cooking. Yeah, I mean, I love what this chef did here with seafood, pork product, and rice. This is, for me, a beautiful showcase of how to balance ingredients from one place, techniques from another. Great job. Next up, we have a trip to Massachusetts by way of New Mexico. This is a blue corn taco celebrating the cod with a pepper sauce and a crispy bacon over top. Visually, the homemade tortilla looks slightly odd. Shall we? I'm going up against four professional chefs, and I have to trust that what got me here is what will keep me here. Tortilla, delicious. Let's get that absolutely right. Love the pepper sauce. I would have loved to have seen the cod maybe presented in a different way. Mm -hmm. Totally. I think the cod is cooked beautifully, but my palate is searching for some variation in texture. All right, moving over here to the middle floor, we have Florida and Washington State. We have a crispy skin salmon with a beet pesto and some of those wild mushrooms, onions, and pickled kumquats, citrus from Florida. Yeah, this is art. Salmon's nailed beautifully. Let's get that absolutely clear, OK? But what you never do is stick a cream sauce alongside that. Oily fish, oily pesto, and fat. For me, the fish is cooked absolutely perfection. Yeah, I mean, all the elements, maybe they're a little fatty, but they are delicious. I get it. The creamy part of it might have been a little too much. But life likes to always test me. I know that. 
And I have a feeling that life is definitely about to test me one last time before I get into the finals. Okay, so over here we have Colorado by way of Wisconsin. And we have a Colorado rack of lamb with some roasted fingerling potatoes, corn, tomato, and green pepper succotash. Lamb delicious, let's get that absolutely clear. Uh, everything's really good about this dish. I do wish it was just more flavor from some of the other ingredients that might have been in that box to really wake this dish up. I think the potatoes are a little undercooked, but other than that, great job. My lamb's cooked beautifully, but I just hope it's enough. Shall we move to the uh, top floor? We know who's up there, it's Tucker. First grab was Texas. Second grab was the Californian box. So we have a bone-in ribeye topped with a beautiful fine basil puree, fresh pickled peaches, and then this little red wine reduction. The sauce and the beef looks fantastic. That peach is bringing a beautiful acidity and brightness. I love this dish. I think the cook on the ribeye is just second to none. Yeah, steak is cooked really, really well, but peaches next to beef, it is an odd pairing. Right, uh, well done, all of you. These are five very good dishes. Every detail is important for us right now. Excuse us. There's a lot at stake. There are two spots that go directly into the finale, and I want to be one of those for sure today. First of all, tough task. I got to give it to that ribeye with the peach. It was giving California all day long. Would you put peaches next to beef usually? Fusion. It's confusion. You can't tell me that didn't work, the flavor profile. Together, I didn't like it. Sadly, the one that didn't work for me was that bizarre presentation. It was Massachusetts caught into a taco. The tortilla were delicious. If New Mexico is your star, then where is the spices, right? Give me chili. Presentation-wise, some mistakes, sure, but they're under duress. To me, it's still tasty. I like the dish. That Colorado lamb. The lamb was cooked beautifully. Everything else, the plate just felt dull. Listen, still one of the tastiest dishes up there. That salmon, though. I'm really confused by that dish because it's like, it's basil, it's dill, it's pickled kumquats, it's creamy mushrooms. I agree that it's an odd choice to put the cream in the mushrooms, but listen, I'm sorry, that dish is tasty. Dude, uh, it's the most beautiful I'm really dish confused by that, actually. I mean, uh, I don't know, think uh, we're tasting uh, the same uh, dish. I would have put that salmon as the number one dish of the night had those cream mushrooms not been on there. You guys are, I just. Oh my God. It's a finale up for grabs. For me, not as tasty as the mahi mahi. The blood sausage in the rice, right? How intelligent to bring depth of flavor so quickly. Presentation could have been a little bit better there. So, I know it's been a tough one. And we feel for them all, I get that. This close, okay? True. Are we in agreement? <sighs> yes, yeah. All of you, these decisions are difficult, life-changing, and we want to make the right decisions. The first dish headed directly to the finale is... the mahi-mahi. Pulling off a dish like that, that is magic. Congratulations. From the basement to the finale, I mean. The next dish that earned its way directly into the finale is... The next dish that earned its way directly into the finale is... the ribeye. Tucker. Congratulations. How are you feeling? I'm just really proud of myself. I'm proud of you too. I mean, I cooked my way out of that basement to the middle, to the top, to the finale. Next spot mentorship. Unfortunately, Chris, Nuri, and Omi, you're headed to the last elimination cook-off. Tonight's elimination cook-off is about how far you've come in this competition. In your very first challenge, we asked all of you to create a next-level dish. Tonight, we are going back to the beginning. We want all three of you to take everything you've learned and create 
a show-stopping dish. Your final chance to show us why you deserve that place in the grand finale. Yes, yes chef. chef. Tucker, Pilar, head to the elevator. I'll see you upstairs shortly. All of you, forget the pity party. Heads up, dust yourselves down, and give everything you've got across these next 30 minutes. You know what to do up there. All that hard work that you've put into this. Bring that upstairs. Head the elevator, please. Good Let's luck, go. chefs. Let's go, Chris. Winning dishes only. I did three eliminations straight. I don't know about four. I need to put the best, most amazing show-stopping dish on a plate. I will do everything I can do to get into that finale. Believe in yourself. Yes, chef. Getting a spot in that final. This is what I'm here for. This is what I want. Come on, guys! Woo! I still do have like this whimsical confidence walking into this, but I know that I have to deep fry myself in stress, adversity, and pressure. And to be honest, that's why I'm looking forward to this elimination challenge. Right. You good? Yes, yeah. You good? Yep. You ready? Yes, sir. Good. There's $250,000 on the line. Understand? Yes, yes sir. sir. Right, all three of you, good luck. Line up. Come on, guys. Let's yes. It's moving, guys. Here we go. Stand by. When that turns green, we go. Rapidly. And go! 30 minutes starts now. Something new. I grabbed the black card first and I literally put it back down and like, no, New York strip, let's go. Challenge yourself, baby. Okay. The platform is here. First thing I go for is a nice, gorgeous veal chop. I am surprised none of these guys decided to take that because that is a winning dish for anyone. I see the chicken oysters, but I bypass them because I see the ocean trout. I'm going to make a seared ocean trout with a vinaigrette and an arepa. Next up, we have the arepa. Great choice of ingredients. I want that on the top floor. I really want to elevate this dish. I want them to see my growth. One stunning protein. Return the ingredients to your bench, get going. The platform's staying. Yeah. Evolve, 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 yes. Color, color. Nori, why New York trip? Uh, because I have not cooked a steak in this entire challenge and I want to showcase cooking a steak. That's what I love about you. 22 years of age. And and no chef, fear. not in my blood, chef. What's going through your mind at times like this? I know you've been pushed by Naisha and you have an amazing mental health. Yes, yeah, chef. Right now, what's just going through my mind is just fighting, chef. That's the story of my life. Good luck. It's 30 minutes, and it's 30 minutes to save my life in this competition, so I got to get going. Beautiful. Right, how are we feeling? Feeling good, Chef. Tell me about the dish. So you're going to sear that? So we're going to be making an arepa. Right. I'm going to be plating my fish, Chef, mm -hmm. with a fresh salsa. You've got the flavor. Yes. I know, Dan, well, you've got that flavor. I really want to elevate my arepa from the first challenge, bringing it into this challenge and not pairing it with something that would be too heavy. You always get told to go back in the kitchen. We is the kitchen. 19 minutes to go. You got it, Chef. Yes. Thank you, Chef. Let's go. Right, what you got? I got veal chop, okay. my takis and chanterelles. Good. I'm going to do pan seared veal chop with a veal jus Love with that. Parisian style gnocchi. OK. Have you got time, really, to make gnocchi now? Yes, I did. You are not playing your safe. 30 minutes to do gnocchi. Is it a tall order? Absolutely. But I'm here to make people really impressed. Right behind you, Omi. Rapida, rapida. New York strip, beautiful. I like that. I think this is uh, probably better for presentation. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, just dark. get you right down there. Fat that part off. Yes, yeah. Yeah, it's still nice and rare. Good. We are halfway, guys. Halfway 15 right. minutes. 15 minutes push, remaining. Push, push, push. Give me fork, give me fuel, give me fire, give me that what I desire. The veal chop is still sitting there on the plank glaring at me. And not only the veal chop glaring at me, and Chef Ramsay too. I like the danger tightrope that you walk on. But hey, look at me. Yes, chef. We're not in the finale yet. Heard that. OK, edit. Yes, chef. Get your together, let's go. Yes, Chef. Season that thing beautifully. Yes. And it needs to rest. Behind. He makes me so nervous. Behind, behind. Gnocchi in an elimination. What is wrong with him? He's crazy. <sighs> Any one aspect gets screwed up, I'm gone. I'm going home. I'm not going to go to the finals. That veal needs to go in the pan. Going in right now. There we go. That needs to rest, doesn't it? I mean, yeah. Eight minutes. 
Get it, girl. Come on, mommy. Oh, we just be careful. You happy? No. Temp? No. The shape is not what I'm looking for, chef. It doesn't look like it. The moment the arepa comes out in the wrong shape, I need to focus on rolling it out nice and thin and really making sure that it stretches to the size that I need it. Chef Stretch, what do you need, bro? I'm working on heating up some butter in the cream, Good. add a little ginger to the uh, sweet Good. potatoes, just a touch. A little butter and Good. a touch of cream. Get down to the wire, young man. Push through, Nuri, push through. We're coming up to five minutes to go. All right, five. They good? Let's go. Get them in. Right. Color. Don't blow on a fire. No, put it down. Don't add oxygen to a fire. Third chef. I don't even know what's going on over there. So spinning around. OK, chef. hey. Now. Yeah, yeah. Big deep breath. Composure. We good? Good. All I need is this That's much better. It's getting there. It's Isn't getting it? there. It's getting there. It's taking too long, but it's, it's getting it's there. It's fine. 90 seconds now. Here we go. Later. 90 Come seconds, on. yes. We're, We're going. But one of you are 90 seconds away from the final spot in the finale. Less is more. Less yes, is sir. more. There you go. There you go. Good man. 60 seconds to go. 60 seconds hurt. How's that? I like it, sir. We good? I like it. Yeah, good. Good, good, good. Get that sauce on there, yes? 15. Make sure it makes sense. It's got to make sense. Chef, yes, chef. Five, four, three, Two, one, and stop. Hands in the air. <laughs> this is going to be difficult. Naisha Richards, welcome back. Three extraordinary chefs cooking at the top of their game. Here we have an ocean trout. In the center, we have a New York strip. And over here, we have a veal chop. Naisha Richards, start with the ocean trout first. The ocean trout is cooked really, really well. Fresh bread, like, absolutely insane that you're doing that. I love it, really, really well made. I'd love to see a sauce sort of bring this together. Um, I appreciate the freshness and the vitality that I'm seeing from this dish. Really beautiful plate. I know that I deserve a spot in the final, but at this stage in the competition, it's anybody's game. Second dish is the New York strip. Richard, first, please. The steak is cooked perfectly, and look at the attention to detail on the mushroom. For me, I really love the sweet potato. I kind of like that granular texture that I'm getting. I think the steak is really spot on. It's nailed. However, I would have loved to see just a little bit more finishing salt or something to really bring that to life. To be able to put that together on the plate, it made me feel good, but I hope it's enough. Don't cry, dude, don't cry. <sighs> and finally, the veal chop. The veal chop is cooked really, really well. I love that this is on the bone, too. And then you have the gnocchi. Delicious. Mm. For me, the gnocchi itself is a showcasing of talent and technique. And yeah, feel cooked perfectly. Incredible. I just want to say that on this cook, all three of you deserve a spot in that finale, let me tell you. Because these dishes are definitely the next level. Which dish has earned their right to move on into the grand finale. Please, Naisha. The dish that I am moving into the finale. It's the veal chop. Richard, which dish are you putting into the finale? Really, really three great dishes. Making our job tough. The dish I'm moving in to the finale is the veal chop. Chris, congratulations. The final spot in the grand finale. Absolutely amazing. Thank you, chefs. I can't believe I made it out of that alive. I dug 10 toes in and did it, but I was not sure if that leap off the metaphorical cliff was going to be a strong enough leap. Nuri, I think you've just cooked your best dish. There's no doubt. And I never, ever want you to feel that you failed 
because at 22 years of age, young man, your career has just started. I gave him all. I was so close, so close. Just learning from you three of the most amazing chefs in the world, it's just like beyond my wildest dreams. Never lose that curiosity. Never. Right? Never will, chef. It's really beautiful. Thank you, chef. You going home, kid. But you did good. Omi, young lady, you've been a stellar performer. And not just going toe to toe, but just your attitude, your composure, and the way you light this room up. Thank you so much to each and every single one of you. To you, Chef Arrington, from day one, you're just someone who grounded me. I started off as a mom who liked to cook. To be able to see somebody like me make it this far in a competition such as this, I'm honored. And mi gente, <laughs> they're gonna love this. Thank you so, so much. The heart that you bring to every plate has hugged my soul in ways that I have never felt before. I'll never forget that. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, chefs. I might not have broken the ceiling, but I know I opened the door. And I'm not the only one. You will not, this will not be the last Puerto Rican you see up in here, up in here, okay? Good job, guys. Give it your all, all right? Good job. Thank you, guys. Yourself. All three of you have earned your way to the grand finale. Only one cook stands between you and a quarter million dollars, a mentorship from all three of us, and the title of the next level chef. But in order to get there, you'll all be competing in the most difficult final challenge ever created. Cooking one dish from each level. I guarantee this will be the most exciting and memorable cook of your entire young lives. Congratulations and good night. Thank you, chefs. Thank you, chefs. Let's go, Chris. Oh, Matt. Wow. 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 The final three. <sighs> Next time on Next Level Chef. Go, let's go. Today's the day that one of you will be crowned. But to win the title of Next Level Chef, you'll have to impress us. Three dishes on three levels to determine who will become the Next Level Chef. Today is going to be one hell of a challenge. I want that thing with all my heart. I did not come this far to let up now. This is it. 90 minutes to change your lives. Come on. And it starts right now. Our Next Level Chef is... Thank <laughs> you.